Hello and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network. Okay, I definitely peeped the mic a little bit on that one. I should probably, I should, I should tone it down a notch. Um, last time we were dealing with a school being taken over by a terrorist organization, which is bad. This time we're hopefully gonna solve that. Yeah. Wait a second. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything up there. No, no, there's not. Okay then. Save myself a little bit of time. Okay, yeah, there's there's holes missing in the floor here. Uh, and a big hand. Let's uh. Hmm. What what the hell does that hand do? Uh. Oh, it places bombs. And then runs back to the back. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not ideal. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's the thing with the time bombs. Uh, they hit everything if you let them go off. And I was too slow because I was standing too far away. Uh, do that and you're dead. It's a decent chip, though, if I remember it right. It does a lot of damage. Oh, well, that's bad. Where indeed? This looks like a classroom, so... I'm guessing... It's probably this room, actually. No, that's the AV room. This... Uh... Okay. You should really be ashamed of yourself, dude. Wait, books have lots of pictures. He says this in the classroom of a first, in a first grader classroom. Come on, dude. Even in a society run by computers, don't forget the beauty of a flower. Morning glories tend to creep up anything nearby. You can't eat seeds from morning glories. Try sunflower seeds. Hmm. No freaking kidding. Oh hey. Oh hey, you're down here now. Yeah, so it would seem. Hmm. Wait, is they wow, this room is big. Maybe Mega Man is in here? Maybe. Uh, that's still locked, yeah. Oh! That cannot be good. Uh, hmm. I'm in the AV room. What do you want me to do? Wait, maybe I should chase after him. It's locked. Did he run in here, maybe? No. But he went this way. Uh... Yeah, I know to go to the damn AV room, Mega Man. Oh. Okay, then. I see. The layout in here is the clue, because uh, I'm right around where the desk is. Right, anyway. Now that's taken care of, more or less. Uh, what's over here? Oh, it's a thing. But first, giant hand! Okay. We will area steal. And shoot you. And shoot you. Hmm, let's see. 
that should... This should be just about enough to kill you. Uh... Ah, that's what I was trying to do last time. It didn't really work out for me, though. Oh, hey, I just thought of something. Something to keep in mind with area steel. Eventually, the enemy will get their area back, but not if you stay in it. Uh... Just something to keep in mind. I win. And I get... Quick A. I'm sure I'll, I'll throw that in. Yeah, it's basically just a better... Again, like the little bomb, it's basically just a better mini bomb. Uh, you know what? I should sort by code, actually. Let's see... Oh, I have another one of these. Mmm... I don't really want a B-sword. It's kinda lame. But I do just have, like, the two shotguns. I can probably put something better than a shotgun in those two slots. Uh... For example, a high cannon and a spreader. Okay then. Uh, I think this is the last one, or maybe the second to the last one. Too high. How about... By the way, it's worth mentioning, as far as I know, these number passwords change each time. Like, the, the previous ones with the books and the desks, those are always the same. But the no-hit ones are always different. Okay, uh, 38. Too high. Uh, what is the halfway point between 25 and 38? It is a difference of 13, so 32. Okay, uh, first... First digit is correct. Uh... No? Wait, when it says first digit, does it mean this one? Uh, no, I already did that. Uh, and it has reset. Too low... Too high, second digit verification failure, hmm. Okay, so I think that would mean too low, okay. There we go. We're in. Uh, we got Cotton! See- wait, really? Okay, I want to put that on. I want the chance to use a program advance. Because it's cool. Plus also, it is a C code, so... Oh, you know what? Apparently I totally lied about only four of each. You know, maybe it's only four of each... Let's- let me try something here quickly. Uh... Huh. Well, I have no idea what the limit is, then. I know in future games, there's definitely a limit on how many of the same of the same chip you can have. But maybe that's not in Battle Network 1. Hmm. Well, anyway. Uh, whoops. Uh... Yeah, let's, let's put that back. In any case... Uh, okay, this is the last door then. Why is the teacher's lounge also structured like a classroom? Oh? ID card for verification. Okay then. 
Oh, this might actually be a, be a legitimate lock then. <laughs> hmm. Teacher's Lounge is way bigger. A time recorder, you need an ID card. Oh, okay, it's two different rooms. This is a storage room. Uh, is that Miss Marley tied up in a corner? You know, we'll get to you in a minute. Toilet paper! Wax. Reveal! No, it doesn't work in this game. Um. Oh well. Aha! HP memory! And that's why you make sure you look at everything. Yeah, okay, I guess I'll let you out. If I have to, I guess. Yeah, like, what a creep. Haha! We now have everything we need to impersonate a teacher! Uh, also, to save the school! So, you know, I, I guess we'll do that first. I mean, we are, we are locked in here, so... Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Too low. How about... Too high. Second digit is correct. Well, that... They can only be one thing. Wait, no. First digit is correct, not second. Too low. Too high. Okay, well, it's either two or one. We have found you. I didn't think you'd make it this far! Indeed. But, but being a WWW slime is fun! Isn't it, Mr. Hingsby? Yes! With my new W3 salary, I can buy lots of rare chips! Hmm. Not really, not really a very good teacher. Hates me! Yes, but then, I knew I'd do anything for rare chips! Uh, hmm. Well, apparently he does. Yeah, so, uh, let, let's handle this. Uh, I can probably hit him with a sword. Area Steel! Oh. Okay. The number is how much life the ball has. If you don't break it, well, that'll happen. Uh, you're not freaking moving. Well, I guess I can't hit you with my sword then. That's unfortunate. Uh, I wonder. I don't know if this will work. One way to find out. It does not. Well, it's worth a shot. Number man is kind of a pain in the ass, though. <laughs> At least he is with my cr crappy chip collection. Uh, I can totally hit him with this, though. Ha ha! Uh oh. I mean, he's not really that dangerous. He's he attacks pretty slowly and all, but he's just sort of a pain because, well, you don't really have much opportunity to hit him. Hmm. Let's do this. I guess, I guess now I'm gonna find out if that I get to keep the add-on, uh, afterwards. Hmm. 
let's see, Spreader will work fine. Let's use Area Steel, actually. Uh, and I can certainly use a heal. I have been hit... Two H uh, plus 10s would not be a bad idea, actually. Uh, I have no idea. I don't think I can shield these, though. I don't really want to stand there. He will just summon it right on top of me. Okay, yeah, that answers that question. But I can hit him, hit him with my sword now. Ah! Uh-oh, time bomb. Well, honestly, I prefer that to the... I can handle time bombs a lot more easily. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Sure. I'm just sort of hoping I can get my third cannon. I'm not really holding my breath for it either, though. Uh, let's do this then. Oh, uh-oh. That functions like a time bomb. Uh, only the die determines how much damage it does. Oh, hey, I can totally do it. Behold! The pro power of program advance. Zeta Cannon. I'm going to assume the Z stands for Zeta. Uh, what? Oh, I can just fire tons of cannons. Okay, that is not wh what I thought it did. In later Mega Man games, Zeta Cannon just, you know, gives you a really big cannon. Uh, yeah, apparently it doesn't do that in this one. So you know that's good to know. See, you've been wrong all along! And I proved it by killing your... net. Uh... What was I trying to prove you wrong against again? I mean, you say that, but he clearly wasn't using them. Other... <laughs> He clearly wasn't using any rare chips. He strikes me as more of a collector than a battler. <laughs> Oi. It's... It's true! Lan is right! I should collect chips by busting viruses! Uh... If you say so. I'll be good now. I promise... Please trade trips with me. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's uh let's do that. Oh hey, the teacher's lounge. I have not explored this room yet. Well, we seem to have fixed it. Awesome. We did it! Yay! Damn straight not bad. Like, you could do better. Yeah, what Miss Forehead said. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, good job! <laughs> uh, yeah. After class. Whew! Rough day indeed. Today wasn't what? Oh, cool! Yeah, we can. That'll that'll be handy. Double the first power up is awesome. I mean, my strategy is to put one point in charge and then max out attack power. But I would still say, like, look at it this way: you sort of get diminishing return. At least for attack power, you sort of get diminishing returns. It, depending on how you look at it. I mean, you don't really. Each It increases it by a fixed amount each time. But the first one doubles your attack power with your Mega Buster, which is amazing. The second one is only 50% increase from that because it's 2 to 3, right? 
But I still think it's best to max out your attack power, then you worry about rapid and charge. Which rapid is just how fire fast it fires. Charge, I think charge is only for how fast it charges, but it might impact the charge damage as well. I'm not 100% on that. Uh, in any case, I'm gonna stop off here. Join me next time when we do more stuff and things in Mega Man Battle Network. Until then, this has been Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!